There we go. Almost. Uh, almost. There we go. Yes! Hey guys, Kyle Bradshaw here, and I'm currently standing in the Hardinger suit, now available at Chaparral Motorsports. This is an amazing one-piece riding suit, super simple to get in and out of. It's really phenomenal. So the zipper here goes all the way down, boom, kicks off. Uh, this zipper on the inside comes all the way up on the inside. It's got some crazy number of vents and pockets. I think it has like 14 vents and like eight pockets or something crazy. Anyway, this thing was designed for the adventure touring guy and for the commuter. Now, the thing about this suit is because it's totally vented, because it's got Gore-Tex Pro as the waterproof material, you zip your zippers closed and you're 100% waterproof. You open up, you're 100% vented, and then when you get where you're going, you literally just unzip two zippers, maybe four if you want to, and you step right out of this thing and you're wearing your street clothes, your work clothes, a tuxedo, whatever you want to be in. This is going to allow you to ride wherever you're going in whatever you want to be wearing when you get there. Now right now we're getting to the end of the winter season here in Southern California. The suit just arrived last week. I've had a chance to ride it in all kinds of different weather conditions so far. But right now today we're actually getting snowflakes here on the valley floor in San Bernardino, California. Super, super rare. I should be able to travel just a little bit north here and in just a couple of minutes be into some snow. What I'm trying to prove here is the fact that this suit's super versatile. If it's raining, if it's snowing, if it's hot, the suit's going to do it all. It's going to cover your existing clothing so you don't have to be all crazy underneath. You can simply just slip into it, zip it up, go for your ride, get where you're going, zip it off. Anyway, enough of me rambling with my mouth about this thing. Now it's time for me to get on the bike and get up into the mountains so I can show you what the suit looks like in inclement weather, which is basically what it's meant for. It's meant to be waterproof on the exterior. It's got D3 armor completely adjustable I'll show you that here in a bit too and again it's just meant to be able to protect your body in the case of a get off so now let's get on the bike and get rolling <laughs> snowflake down there on the dashboard is a good sign. That means the temperature has dropped enough for it to be icy out. Waterman Canyon Road closed. If I had a mudslide, that happens a lot on that canyon. Yeah. We should go that way. So chains are required here. So nobody can go up that direction. So let's just do this. So cool, dude. So cool. All right, guys. Just 19 minutes have passed. Let me look. Oh, sorry. 20 minutes and 6 seconds have passed since we started this video down in the parking lot of Chaparral Motorsports. That there is downtown San Bernardino. Do you see what's falling out of the sky? Real live snowflakes. It's low right now. So this is one of the roads that we do a lot of our tire tests on, so I'm pretty familiar with it. Um, let's go ahead and get up there. There's a radio tower up there. I don't know if we're going to be able to find... I mean, it's starting to stick a little bit, but we might have to get a little bit higher in order to see actual white snow sticking to the ground. So let's get to it. ground is pretty slippery. It's been raining for a while, but I guess the temperatures just dropped cold enough to be able to start snowing, so that's pretty cool. Now the bummer is, as we get higher in elevation, we're going to lose that view 
as we get higher into the clouds. It's kind of a bummer. There we go, a little bit of snow on the side of the road right there. Oh, snowflakes in the eyeballs, no fun. Ooh, more ice. All right, the tires that are part of the Motaz Rally Tire. 30 PSI. It's actually about 27. Slippery that one. The snow off again. Yes! Woo! I'm breathing a little bit too heavy and I'm fogging up the inside of this thing just a little bit. I really want to be able to see where I'm going. Oh! I wish I could see what you guys are seeing when I've got the camera up like this. There we go. Almost. Uh, almost. There we go. Yes! Made it. Alright guys. I really want to get to a spot where I can set up the camera. Oh. Problem is I'm just really not able to see. There we go, perfect. Hold on a second, I can't see you. Oh, there you are, or better yet. Hey, I'm here in the mountains of San Bernardino in this brand new Climb Hardinger suit. Now what do I personally love about this suit? This is it. Take a look, right here. Let me go ahead and unzip these guys, which are gonna be my set it and forget it wrist straps. Anyway, I can undo my wrists, boom, done. I can then reach down here, Zip this guy up, boom, open. I can step out of this suit, and this is what I was wearing at work. It's perfect. The perfect commute suit. You get to where you're going, you step out of it, and then when you want to ride again, this is how you get back into it. Of course, a mid-layer is nice to be able to keep you nice and warm on the inside. This is just a shell. And this leg zipper here goes all the way up. So you just put your one foot through. You're good to go. Grab the one sleeve. Get the one arm in. Reach back, get the second arm. Now this is what I think is the trick part. I'm not gonna be able to see it because I got the camera and the helmet on. Normally I can see because I'm not wearing a helmet. There we go, it goes in. And then one zipper. All the way down. And you got the inside zipper. Done. Now up here on the wrists, they got Velcro so you can get that setting done. But this guy here is a locking zipper. So this is like your set it and forget it. Boom, done. And then when you get where you're going, you just open this up and you have enough room to get in and out of the suit. I really like that. Now when I first put this suit on, the waist felt like it was funky, like the crotch was hanging down here. The inside of this suit has a really neat setup with these, with these uh, 
cinches right here on the side. So you cinch these down. There's basically a belt system on the inside that allows this thing to be nice and tight, hold you secure. It's really good. And I've got D3O and all my protection areas. I've got Gore-Tex Pro Shell, so I'm gonna stay dry wherever I go. And it's gonna be windproof if the vents are closed. And then if I open the 14 vents, I'm gonna get mad air flowing through this suit so that I can stay cool. Speaking of staying cool, another reason I like a one-piece suit is when it's inclement weather, you don't get rain or snow or whatever the case is to come up into your garment through the waistband. So real quick, just for the fun of it, Time to make a snow angel. Oh, look at all that snow falling. It's kind of cool. I don't know what that looks like in the camera. All right. Uh. Well, there you have it. That's my quick little, this is the Hardinger one-piece suit. Now tune into Chaparral Motorsports. We're gonna do a detailed breakdown of exactly what this suit's about. We're gonna look at every single pocket, every single vent. We're gonna deep dive into the suit. But for me, I'm about fun. I'm about riding. I'm about being out here in the elements and being comfortable and safe while doing it. Anyway, so, I'm Carl Bradshaw. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. On my personal channel, I like to do fun stuff like this. Like take you out and tell you why I personally like suits like this. Please hit that like button if you liked anything you saw today. If you thought it was entertaining or if you just think I'm crazy. And then hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you want to be part of the notification squad. Until next time, take care and ride safe.